taking our feet together, big toes touching, working towards. It's a very simple Subdhabhada Kanasana. So if you're quite bendy here, and I'm sure a lot of you are, try and walk your feet in a little bit deeper towards your groin. Maybe take the back to the hands midway between your knee and your groin. Palms facing up, begin to ease the knees apart. You don't need to get super deep here. You don't get any extra bonus karma points if your knees are touching the floor. Just make sure you can feel it. Take a moment just to connect with your breath, that ujjayi breath. Let the breath get louder, stronger. And begin to build a pretty consistent cadence to your breath. So you can hopefully kind of work on keeping holding for the next 25 minutes or so. Keep the legs easing down. Keep the lower back itself easing down. With the palms facing up, with that external rotation of the arms, maybe let the shoulders push down more as the chest opens, just slightly. Then leave your left hand exactly where it is. Take hold of the outer edge of the right foot. And then begin to work that right knee towards the floor as you ease that left leg still down in that same direction. So already a fairly complex hip opening pose without too much going on, not too active. We just start to wake up some muscles around that very complex area. Keep the toes flexed on both feet. And even here, try and keep the lower back pushing down, the shoulders easing down, using a touch of arm strength to ease both knees towards the floor. Releasing slowly. Come straight to the opposite side. Coming hold of the outer edge of the left foot. Make sure that right foot is still fairly close in towards your groin. Left knee working to the floor, right knee easing down. And using a little bit of arm strength to ease the knees down deeper. Lower back stays pushing down to the floor. And if possible, try and ease a little bit more of your tailbone in the direction of the floor. Holding there for five. Breathing for four, flex the toes for three, two, and on one. Taking hold of the outside edge of both feet. Notice instinctively, probably for you, a lot of you, your bum will start to lift off the floor here. So we're coming to happy baby, but with your tailbone working down. And this is kind of about a compromise. Yes, you want your knees to come deeper, but you also want your tailbone to try and ease towards the floor. And then lengthen out the back. Keep the toes flexed. And if you're quite flexible here, you can take hold of the outside edge of the feet, but via the inside edge of the legs first. But keep the tailbone pushing down. Holding for three. Maybe using your elbows to push into the thighs. Holding for four. Flex the toes. Let me take a gentle rock left and right for three. For two. And one, at any point you can just pause this video and just stay in a posture for a little bit longer. <laughs> 